Hey, welcome back to the Midday Show, Kathy. Everyone, I wanted to introduce you to Kathy Burgess, founder and owner of Golden Quest, who runs and breeds the most beautiful comfort retrievers. And I want to also introduce you to Lara Guthrie, head trainer and behaviourist. How are you, my lady friends? Very Good, well. Thank I you. can't believe you bought the most gorgeous puppies here. I saw these online, everyone, and I said, I want the whole show with these dogs doing the interviews. And I called you and you went, we're in. We're so in. So thank you for bringing them in. You're thank welcome. you. Tell us a little bit about how it all started to begin with. Um, I've been breeding dogs since 1979 and I've been breeding golden retrievers. Mm -hmm. And there was a point in time I said, this is such an amazing breed, everybody should own one. But for some people, the breed is too big. It's too big. And so for 15 years, I'm like, somebody needs to shrink the dog. Somebody needs to shrink the dog. And after 15 years, I'm like, I'm just crazy enough. If Did you pop them in the wash? If <laughs> nobody's going to shrink them, they're cotton. So it's easy. So if nobody's going to shrink the dog, I will shrink the dog. So then I started my... How do you do that? How do you start that process? Well, there's a lot of genetics and a lot right. of thought process, but what I eventually did was I actually infused Poodle in these guys. Oh. And then I bred back to look and act like Goldens. But the Poodle gave me hypoallergenic, decreased shed, increased longevity, increased intelligence, and, in, and uh, decreased size. So wow. we get the, a really nice package. So how long have you been breeding them for now? Oh, you're just too busy. You I know. know. Mine <laughs> is just sleeping this whole time. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more on yeah. comfort retrievers? What, what does that mean? What are the characteristics so, you're looking for? So uh, a comfort retriever, I, I gave them the name because I thought it would be a comfortable size oh, retriever. Okay. Yeah. But also they do provide a lot of comfort. Mm -hmm. They uh, do. They do. Can we just take a shot from camera one? and show how big the one is that's standing Katie's feet. Mm -hmm. Now that is... Full grown, correct? Full, full grown. grown. And, and she's 27 pounds. Right. And 27 pounds, you can see her down near Katie's feet now. She is so gorgeous. How old is she? She's five and a half. Five and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at her. <laughs> oh, isn't she beautiful? She's very sweet. Th th these dogs are killing she's me. Very sweet. Okay, so let's talk about the behaviour of the dogs to begin with, Laura. So what sort of home do these best fit? Uh, the nice thing about the comforts is they're ideal for just about anyone. We have various personalities <laughs> within the breed. Um, we obviously start with really great pets for families, um, yeah. both dogs who like to cuddle and relax, as well as active dogs for families who like to do more activities. But on top of that, we also have had really wonderful dogs that ended up being working companions oh, for people, really? such as service dogs. We have quite a few dogs that are out as diabetic alert dogs oh. for various individuals. We also have really successful therapy dogs, like Miss Hannah down there. Um, Miss Hannah's a therapy dog? Yes. Mm -hmm. she is a licensed, that's very cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a licensed therapy dog. So we also have that. But not just that. We have families who decided to do a little bit extra with their dogs and stuff like hunting, um, yeah. agility, swimming. So we have families yeah. who really get into sports with their comforts. So the comforts really do embody the breed in that they're able to be a pet for just about anyone. Talk to us about the Guardian program. What is that that you have going on? Well, um, I wanted to breed dogs, mm -hmm. but I had this ethical dilemma. Right. I want to breed dogs, but I want these dogs to always live in really, really good homes. So I, I worked on something called a Guardian program. So in other words, my dogs... They don't live in kennels. They live in private homes. Oh my God! Then uh, we do you. we do the health testing. We do the temperament, and if they pass our bar and our bar is pretty high, yeah. then we'll invite them. We s then we will say we want to breed them, and then the owners get the option. Yeah, go on. The I'm owners get the option. Do they want to have puppies at their house and have that experience, or do they want to turn that over to us? Because it's a lot of work, but. Boy, you can get a lot out of it. I know. And I was just sitting here just thinking to myself, I remember when I got my first Italian greyhound, a purebred mm -hmm. that I wanted mm -hmm. to show around Australia. And he was so gorgeous. But he was a lot of work to yeah. begin with. Mm -hmm. You know, puppy training and all that. If I was to order one now, for everyone at home, if they were to order one, how long do you keep them before you give them to the new owners? So the wonderful program that we've actually started at Golden Quest is that we do prenatal exercises with the moms, actually. Um, fun stuff that is great for them. It's mommy massages and that kind of stuff. But studies oh, that is very cute. <laughs> yeah, but studies have actually shown positive effects on the puppies and the mothers if we do that kind of exercises with them. Um, we see dogs that are more understanding and able to accept 
tactile stimulation and touch. So on top of the prenatal, once they're born, we do many other protocols with them to kind of help them get ready for their environment. At four weeks, we actually start doing clicker training with them. All right. Um, this is fantastic. We've got yeah. so much more to talk about, but yes. if you want to find out how you can get hold of Golden Quest and have one of these comfort retrievers, everyone, it's so gorgeous. There's their Facebook page, there's their email address and, and website. Give them a buzz. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. You're not You're taking the puppies around away. The rest of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, awesome. Exactly. <laughs> well, a few weeks ago, I got to catch up with um, Dr. Jared Nims, and we're talking all about digital face mapping. Keep it right here, everyone. You're on Midday Kentucky.